Your doctor has recommended to insert a stent between your kidney and your bladder. The medical term for this is a double J stent. The stent allows drainage of urine from the kidney into the bladder by temporarily relieving any blockage caused by a stone in the ureter or an internal swelling outside of the ureter. The renal pelvis is the area where the kidney attaches to one of the ureters. Urine flows from the kidney through the ureters into the bladder. When emptying your bladder, the urethra transports the urine from the bladder to the outside of the body. This animation shows a blockage in the ureter caused by a stone. Urine is unable to flow from the kidney to the bladder, causing congestion and sometimes pain. The procedure is usually done under general anesthesia. A tube with a tiny optic camera is inserted through the urethra into your bladder. The bladder is inspected and the ureteric opening is located. A contrast study may be performed to assess the urinary tract and to locate the obstruction. X-ray images can now clearly outline the ureter and the obstruction. A so-called guide wire is introduced through the camera into the kidney. The double J stent is inserted over this guide wire. J-shaped curls are present at both ends of the stent to hold the tube in place. X-ray is used to check that both ends are in place in the kidney and the bladder. The stent is later on removed or is sometimes used as a temporary intervention before the removal of the stone with another procedure. You will be discharged from the hospital when you have been able to empty your bladder sufficiently and you have no fever or other complaints.